Welcome back everyone, I'm Brett, this is Matt. We're here to talk to you about the Surface Duo 2. And in this video, we wanted to talk to you about video conferencing on the Surface Duo 2. When Microsoft released this product, this was one of the big things that they really featured was being able to be on a Teams call uh, on your two screen device. And it is pretty cool. If you have the Teams app and you span it across two screens, you'll be able to see your video and other people's videos or a mix of both. Uh, across the two screens. And if somebody's presenting, say, a PowerPoint presentation, that'll just automatically switch and fill up one of the screens while the, the group fills up the other one. Now, if you've ever tried to attend a video conference on a phone, right, it's a pretty compromising sort of experience. It's not, you know, you're switching Trying around to toggle, between. Yeah, toggle between different screens and views. And that's a huge advantage on the Duo, and I've certainly used it a lot more when I'm not at my desk uh, for video yeah. conferencing, uh, even yeah, around the house. Really, yeah, to might be, be really the effective. Room. In a video conference, right, you, you need to be able to see that content and keep an eye on the people and their reactions as well. I mean, it's a social thing. Yeah. But, but there's another part of that conferencing which is really handy on the Duo, and it's definitely a new experience, is that ability to have the Teams call on one screen and one note open on the other and be yeah. able to take notes while I'm in the conference. And it helps me yeah. to stay engaged and focused, uh, and it helps me to retain what, what matters to me out of that meeting. Yeah, and I think that's that's something that's you know probably overlooked a lot. But people still, to this day, don't understand the process of note taking, why it's important, how it helps your memory. It's not yeah. that you're ever going to refer back to your notes in most cases. In fact, quite a lot you will never see them again. But the act of writing that note encodes into your brain, especially by hand with a hand with a pen. It encodes the uh, the the item into your brain gives you much better memory recall and understanding, right? So, you know, taking notes with a pen is brilliant. And with this device, yeah, you can happily take notes on the bottom screen in that portrait mode that we talked about in the last video. So you can have the uh, people up the top and you can be handwriting notes at the bottom. It's, it's a really cool way to do a video conference. In fact, I attended an in-person conference. It was actually a hybrid conference. Some of us were in person. It was dialed into a few other locations just last week. And I actually exclusively took notes on the Duo for that. So. Uh, and again, the second screen was really handy because I had the agenda open on one of the screens and took notes. Now, whilst that's not video conferencing like we're talking about today, it's, it is the flexibility of the device. And, yeah. and I would traditionally have taken my Surface Pro into those conference sessions to take notes on because I do take notes with pen you know, yeah. as a rule. Uh, but I found the Duo in that portrait mode, bottom screen for taking notes, helped me again. Yeah. It's something... It's a lot more yeah. convenient than dragging that big, you know, 13 inch screen with the Surface Pro 8, for example, into uh, a conference. You know, there are a lot of situations that you go to, you want to travel light. So you just take the one device, you've got your phone and it is big enough just to be able to take notes fairly productively. Plus you've got a full size pen and yeah. Yeah, um, really good experience. So I, I know in the past, you know, I've done a lot of video conferences um, and meetings just with my, my team um, when I'm out remotely. I remember sitting on the beach at Port Macquarie, uh, having just run a, a session for a school up there or an organization up there in Port Macquarie, which is, you know, in the middle of uh, New South Wales on the coast, east coast of Australia, um, meeting with my team who are based in Queensland and in Melbourne uh, and being able to participate in a, in a video conference. But at the time I was on a device like this and I was very, con you know, very, um, limited and compromised by the screen real estate that I had. Whereas this, um, I can look at what we're talking about. I can see the document. I can see the team's conversations, things like that, while I'm in the conference, in the video call as well. It's brilliant. And so that's just access to more information without having to toggle and switch. And we know how distracting and burdensome that is, right? Because you're trying to find stuff. How Context do I get switching. that back? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so having two screens for video conferencing is, um, it lives up to the hype that, uh, that Microsoft uh, came up with there. And I think it, it, there's a lot of possibilities that people could discover with having two screens on a device in this particular situation. Um, you know, I think particularly about field workers. I remember uh, introducing Skype for business to an organization here in Victoria, a regional organization, and they, um, they had people who would maybe travel three or four hours out to do mm. an inspection on site somewhere. They'd want to talk to a subject matter expert, being able to video conference that person in um, on the site meant that they didn't have to travel three or four hours back to the office to you know, sit in and do that somewhere. Um, having in that back in those days, Skype on the phone saved them hours and hours of work, right? So yeah. there are so many people out there who are you know, mobile, working from anywhere and transforming the size of their device from that to, to that could have a radical impact 
on the way they work on a video conference, right? So there's, I think there's a lot to be discovered in that um, with a device like this it, as, as this plays out into the future. It's a lot of opportunity and, and I'm surprised by the, by the benefit, the extra benefit that I'm getting from that two screen experience in that, in that scenario. So the other thing I think is good to mention with the Surface Duo 2 is um, Microsoft have really put a lot of focus, not just in the last two years because of the pandemic and everybody's not be jumping into video conferencing, but way before that, Microsoft were really emphasizing the quality of uh, the forward facing camera and also the microphone setup. Yeah. So um, I don't know from memory from the spec whether the Surface Duo 2 has that dual far field studio mic setup that they have on all of their other devices. Um, really cool thing about say Surface Book or Surface Pro or Surface Laptop Studio uh, and my Surface Studio here is that you can sit sort of three or four meters away and the device can still hear you very clearly. Uh, so if you're doing a video conference where you needed to sit away from the device, it works brilliantly. Um, and that's my experience so far on the Duo 2 as well. Phones typically have some pretty good optimized microphones anyway, but um, they, it does it matter. Does a really good job. I mean, you, we yeah. all know, don't we? Right? We really, really notice these days when you hop on a video call of any kind and someone's got a poor quality microphone, it straight away yeah. it just just shuts yeah. you off. You just you just go, no, I'm not not, not paying Can't attention here. This is terrible. Can't deal with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So all of the Surface devices typically that they have, you know, premium quality microphones that are really mm. set up and tuned for voice work. You didn't. Want, you wouldn't want to record music on them. That's not what they're for. They're, they're really tuned to picking up human voices, uh, and they do a really good job of it. So um, that's been my experience on the Duo too. It works really well. Cool. Well, if you found this discussion helpful, um, tell us about it in the comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Uh, we've got a, more videos coming up on the Surface Duo too. What are we doing next? We're going to talk about gestures and navigation on the device. Um, we've got some other videos talking about the keyboard and typing and handwriting experience too. So join us for those and we'll see you then.